Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNAHero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how we can create a student's listing using Xmod module. Um, now, Xmod, just to give a quick overview about Xmod itself, Xmod is a module that will allow you to manipulate, to create forms and views based on any on any table structure. So uh, if you have a table in your database and you need to allow people, maybe admin people or maybe regular users to enter data and to search, to view listings, to see details, you can use that module as the basis of your of your functionality there. Now, this module is not for uh, I will call it for, for regular users. This module is really geared towards towards developers. But but uh, what do I mean by that exactly? Uh, to use that module, it, it has a quite a quite a simple interface, quite simple functionalities. But you need to create tables. You need to understand a little bit about HTML. You need to understand about to how how to work with data. So I you I I would say that this module is geared towards a developer that wants to get functionalities built within .NET Nook, but does not want to get involved yet, at least not yet, with module development, with .NET Nook module development itself itself. So with this module, a developer can come in very quickly, create a table structure, have a form built based on that table. And have a list, have lists and details and search built for that table as well, all within this module. So again, this is not a module geared towards the the regular uh, user. It's really a module geared towards more what they call here professionals, more of a of, of more more of developers. So again, you're gonna see it as as I go along, and maybe you are inclined to use it, maybe not, but again, I feel that this module is very geared towards professionals, towards developers that want to get using uh, and building things within .NET Nook very quickly. So again, our, our goal with uh, this video, and this video may be broken down into a couple of parts, our goal will be to create initially a very simple student list. And my, my goal as well, is that over time I will create more and more videos that will go deeper and deeper into Xmod's functionality. So we're going to start with a very basic list in a very basic form and we will be growing that form from there as, as I create more videos about topics, about very specific topics around Xmod. So this is the module and module is on version 3.0. Oh, I want to give a big thanks to Kelly Ford from DNN Dev, which is the, the developer behind X module, X mod, sorry. Uh, he gave me uh, a little bit of a help to get up to speed with the module. Not that I would really need, but again, he was very helpful and very willing to uh, walk me through the module, present some some functionalities, even though I'm a I'm an old time user of this module. I, I have been using Xmod for the past three or three years at least with in version one and it was not even Xmod Pro back then yet. And now it's it's really really a very powerful tool at this point. And as you can see here in their in their uh listing on Snow Covert, you see he has a, a 4.94 uh, stars here out of five. So I mean, people that use this module really likes to use it. Again, very simple, very straightforward. Usually geared towards more developers. But let's get down to this. Uh, I have downloaded the module already, and you can download the module from DNN Dev site. Here, there is the client area. You can just create an account. I'm, I have already created an account. I have already logged in. And I came to the client's area to the downloads, and I was able to download the module from this from this download area here. This is the module that I have downloaded. This is a version, version three 
0.6. This is the one that I have downloaded. This version does not come with any documentation inside the zip, inside the installation. But once you install the module, you're going to find plenty of documentation within the module itself. Okay, so I have downloaded the module already. I'm going to open Windows Explorer to show the file structure of that module. So here I have Windows Explorer. This is the zip folder that I have, uh, the zip file that I have downloaded. I have expanded, and this is what I have inside installation. Now we have installation here for DNN5, and we have installation here for DNN4. So I'm using DNN, I'm running DNN5, so I'm going to use this installation set here. If when I open it, it comes with two zip files inside of it. One is the main installation, the other one is the forum view installation. Let's the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna install the module in our test website. So I'm going to copy this path. Here's our development website. This is in my local host. I'm going to log into the back end as super user because I have to install the module. Now, the installation is very straightforward, just like a, any regular .NET Duke module. Let's go to the host menu under module definitions. And from here, we're going to go to the action menu and click install module. So from here, I will click Browse. It's already uh, in that folder. I'm going to select the first, uh, the first file, the, the install file, which is the, the biggest one. I'm going to start with that one. Click Open. Click Next. Click Next again. Next again. Accept the license. Hit Next. Wait for the installation to run. Have a look if there is any problems here. I don't think there is. Yep. Oh, fine. Let's click return. And now let's install the second, the second file. So let's just wait a little bit. Now from here, let's go back again to the action menu to install module. Click on browse. Install the second one. Click next. Next again. Next again, accept license, click next. Click, this is a small module, let's just click return. Okay, so let's scroll all the way down and let's see if they are here. Yeah, Xmod Pro and Xmod Pro Form View. Perfect, we have both added. Now, the our initial goal will be to create a very simple student listing. And we're going to create a new page to do that. So let's click on new at the top to add a new page. Then from here, let's call it students. And that's it. Let's make it visible to our users, including the menu and click update. Perfect. So we have students here. I'm going to remove the default HTML module that comes in. Now, at the top, I'm going to add the Xmod module to, to the page. So here's the module, here's Xmod Pro. I'm going to select it and I'm gonna put students, the title, let's click add module. The module was added to the page uh, it's not licensed, but because it's run from my local host, I didn't I didn't buy uh, that license, so I'm, it's running in a development mode only at this point. So let's start with the module by going to the action menu, and let's go to control panel. Now I could start by creating my table from the database tools that is available within the module, but you can also create your own table. And again, that's, a reason, that's one of the reasons why this is really a more developer oriented type of module. You can create your table by having your own a SQL script. And here's a sample of that. Here's the example that we're gonna be using. I'm creating a table called students. It has a student ID, which, is, uh, which will increment automatically. Student ID is the primary key of our table. And then we have a, I have a field called student name address, city, zip code, and phone. 
So this is my table structure. I again I could create this table structure manually from here, but um, actually this was an advice coming from Kelly Ford himself. He says that you can use the database tools to do some prototyping, to do some testing, but uh, you may you may really want to have your own scripts to to create tables and data structure that you want to present and to have lessons coming from. So. Again, I have my own script here, which will create a table. And once again, that's the reason why I say that this is not for the regular user. This is more geared towards a programmer, toward, towards someone that knows database, that knows programming as well. So here's a very simple table structure. I'm going to create that table to run this script in .NET Nook, which will create the table within .NET Nook's .NET Nook database. I'm going to the host, SQL. And I'm going to run that script from here. I'm just going to paste the script, run as a script, click execute. And now this table, because of this command, this table was created, created in the database, the student's table. Now, of course, I just created now. It's empty. This is the end of part one of the video, introduce NextMod Pro and how to create database lists and forms.